Good morning, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. All right, guys, we got these uh, this swing arm installed on this BVW70. Of course, bad swing arm. It's freaking locked up. So, anyways, we got the swing arm on. We got the alignment done. We got the drag pin or its guide pin on this side, which also had to be broken down and relubricated. We got that all installed, we got the drive motor in, and we uh, aligned the carriage, because it was off a little bit anyways. But we do got video playback now. It's looking good. Uh, wasn't playing like this at all. <laughs> all right, so now as you can see, it's looking really, really good. We got some good video coming out of this. And um, always want stability, gotta make some adjustments on these on these guide uh, swing arms, there's screws and they have to be adjusted to get rid of the noise in the upper and lower part of the track of the video. It's got, you have to do the alignment on these things and it takes a little bit. I've done a lot of them so I kind of know what you got to do maybe one and a half turns on each and you, you'll get it to line up. It's not real difficult to do. But as you can see, we got this BVW70 working now and, and serviced. Wasn't doing this, I'll tell you that. It wasn't doing this at all. <laughs> and uh, now that we got it playing really good, lubrication and everything else, you know, some more adjustments and alignments are gonna be messed with a little bit here, but it shouldn't be take, take too much longer and I'll have this one done. But anyways, you can see the playback on this BVW70 is awesome, just like the other one. Just like the BVW75 that I serviced for the customer who's gonna be getting that soon. Uh, we do work on these guys. Uh, like I said, I know these machines very, very well. So, to the average person, I would not recommend trying to do this if you don't, if you're not electronically inclined and know what you're doing, because you will absolutely get lost or end up causing some damage. I mean, because if these mechanisms are off at all, you'll destroy your tapes, or um, you can destroy uh, the swing arm if, if it goes in the wrong position at the wrong time. You got to make sure the alignments are done properly on these, these units because it's very, very important. But I got everything in and uh, just doing a preliminary test on it. Got the new control arm in. Got the uh, lubrication adjustments. And this thing's playing good now. Yeah, it wasn't playing like this. It was uh, actually... I loaded the tape before I did anything to it, started eating the tape and everything else. So yeah, it's these machines have issues. But like I said, the worst thing you could do with a Betacam SP or any broadcast deck is not use it. That's the worst thing in the world that can actually happen. Turn them on once in a while, pop a tape in, run a tape, you know, just to play it and eject it a couple, maybe 10, 15 times. Get things moving on these things. If you don't and they sit too long, Five, six, ten years down the road, you're going to pop a tape in and go, what the hell? It's going to eat your tape and it's going to jam and stop and everything else. And you might have an important customer tape and you end up destroying it. So you guys got to make sure you keep these things moving. If you don't keep them, turn them on and play tapes and get you just get the lubrication, you know, keep it moving. It's going to turn bad after five, maybe ten years. That's just why all these decks I'm getting now need to be serviced. They're sitting on racks and storage areas where people are selling them on eBay. They don't work, and they need to be overhauled. So, like I said, this is a major overhaul for this BVW70. It was not doing this at all. Now we got the new swing arm in there, and uh, the guide arm is working right. I got the alignment fixed. Got the alignment on the, the uh, loading carriage fixed, and beautiful picture. Now that's what you call alignment. That's the way you want this to look when you do uh, an alignment on these. But anyways, if you have any work you need done on the BVW70s, BVW75s, these are really nice machines from television stations. They were a real pain in the ass because these parts were very faulty on these and they used to jam tapes and people would be pulling tapes out of these in the station and have something that's got to go up on air and a damn tape deck would jam. This was, these things were notorious for bad... Uh, swing arms and bad lubrication and bad parts due to the fact due to the fact the parts all had aluminum and uh, stainless steel compression pieces which would actually lock up in place 
from sitting and something about the metals themselves and trying to lubricate them and you just end up breaking them. So they have to be replaced. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video.